Classification Kingdoms by kscience.com. The first kingdom is the animal kingdom, the animals. Animal cells are multicellular. They are multicellular. Animals are not unicellular. Animal cells are eukaryotic, which means they have a nucleus. They also have no cell wall. These three animals, humans, birds, and butterflies, the human eats the bird and the butterfly is eaten by the bird. So we eat other organisms. Animals eat other organisms. And that is a heterotroph. A heterotroph is an organism that eats another organism. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The next three kingdoms we're going to look at are the fungi, the plant kingdom, and the prokaryotes, the prokaryotic kingdom. Plant cells and fungal cells both have a nucleus, which means they are eukaryotic cells. Plant cells have a cell wall. Fungi cells also have a cell wall, as do the bacteria or the prokaryotes. They also have a cell wall. However, the cell walls of these three kingdoms are all made of different molecules. Fungi cells have a cell wall made of chitin, not chitin, but chitin. Plants have a cell wall made of cellulose. They have a cellulose cell wall. Prokaryotes have a flexible cell wall, a flexible cell wall. So prokaryotes, fungi, and plants all have a cell wall made of different materials. You have to know the difference. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So prokaryotes and fungi can both exist as unicellular organisms, as single-celled organisms. However, fungi and plants can both exist as multicellular organisms. So they can both exist as multicellular organisms. So fungi can exist as mushrooms. Mushrooms are a multicellular fungi. And plants are obviously multicellular. You do not get single-celled plants. Prokaryotes, like bacteria, have no nucleus. That's a defining feature. Instead, they have plasmid DNA, which is a circular piece of DNA. And they've also got chromosomal DNA. Chromosomal DNA, which is free chromosomal DNA in the cell itself. Plants are autotrophs. Autotrophs make their own food via photosynthesis. Whereas fungi are saprotrophs, which means they take the nutrients from dead material. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The last kingdom is the protists. Protists are varied. They can be multicellular or unicellular organisms. As you can see here, the plant-like structure on the left is actually a protist. However, the unicellular organism on the right is not a bacteria, it is a protist. 
Some protests have cell walls, some protests do not have cell walls. All protests have a nucleus. Every protest has a nucleus. It's a eukaryotic cell. Like plant, animal and fungi cells, every protest cell has a nucleus. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Pause the video here to make a table summarising the key features for each kingdom. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through the answers and correct any mistakes. Rewatch the video if you have to. Press pause now to test yourself on whether you know the features of the different kingdoms. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through the answers and correct any mistakes. Rewatch the video if you have to.